All right. Just the tornado. Not gonna be enough to take him off the top yet, but right now taking a, a decent amount of damage. Ooh, oh, okay, clipping him. Could be an opportunity. Elegant. Yes, he's content with that trade to get the stock. Well done, sir. And the rolling gets away as well. So. Edge guarding is really crucial in Smash Bros. Everyone should aim to get kills as fast as possible. This series is made to help players of all skill levels. Well, maybe except MK Leo. But if he watched this, John, then he'll know how to kill people faster. But anyway, low level players will stop doing frustrating things like this. And mid to high level players, I should be in that boat, will be able to distinguish between different situations. Like for an example, the character that I use, Lucas, would it be better for me to go off stage and actually hit the character or use PK Thunder or maybe just do both? Now, today, we will be generalizing Elegant's aggressive edge guarding playstyle while also connecting Luigi specifics to other characters in the game. Before we get down to this though, I have an edge guarding series about edge guarding every single character in the game. So you should definitely watch that as well. And also, if you're a Lucas main and you're not subscribed to my Patreon, which you should be because I just posted a less trapping one minute tip guide thing that you should be watching right now. So go watch it. Go. Now, when you're going off stage, the only moves you can use is your aerials, your specials, and your Zare, if you have one. Now, the thing about Luigi is that he has very low cooldown on some of his aerials, which is just like Pac-Man, but having low cooldown on your aerials means you can do something and then hurry up and jump away, or just create a wall between you and your opponent. And speaking of walls, look at Luigi's Zare. It's active for eight frames so you can literally shoot this move out wait for it to hit the opponent and you can still act after it hits the opponent run off and chop them and chop them away swat them like a fly and it's just like how link uses his remote bomb he leaves it out have it active once it hits the opponent he can just go out there and chop them up now this is amazing it seems like luigi can create these walls for the opponent and they won't be able to make it back to the stage but I checked this air mobility document and Luigi has the worst air speed in the game. Meaning he can't reach his opponents at the edge of the screen. Characters like Joker and Shulk will be able to run out there, hit the opponent and just make it back. And Luigi would never be able to do this because his recovery is trash. He's not able to go ahead to the bottom right hand in the corner of the screen, hit the opponent and make it back. Now since Elegant is the number one Luigi in the world, let's see how he actually edge guards with Luigi off stage. And so, like having great out of shoot options in this game is so underrated. Oh, it's tremendous. Oh my god, good lord, bro. The pressure from these stairs and no tech, no tech. Okay, the air dodge ever so clutch. Gonna whip on that. In the now I know Elegant is not actually getting a kill from Kamehameha in this clip, but I really need to show y'all this for a very specific reason. Basically everything that I was talking about before is happening in this clip. Elegant is creating a wall near the ledge where it's making it very, very difficult for Kamehameha to grab the ledge. Obviously in this clip he does get the ledge, but look at how much damage he's taking off of Kamehameha just from this offstage play. Now this pressure that he's displaying in this clip is how he pressured most of his opponents in tournament. He basically creates this wall and then he jumps back onto the stage and set up for a ledge trap, which we'll get into soon after we talk about two frame. Now another part of edge guarding is kind of like two framing an opponent so you can get them right back off stage. And Luigi has an amazing tool for two framing because his down tilt comes out super super fast. And it's just like how Mark and Lucina use their poking tool, their down tilt to hit the opponent back off stage. And it's amazing like check out Luigi with this down tilt, it's fast. He, he didn't get that up air out of time. 
I know Bart's a heavy SDI player. That's it. Oh. In this game, this. Now, do you guys see how effective that is? You could basically go off stage, do your whole walling thing, jump back on stage, use your down tilt to two frame, get them back off stage, do your walling again, and then next thing you know, get them with a ledge trap, which we're about to talk about next, actually. Now, Luigi's best option during the ledge trapping phase is his tornado. His tornado is invincible on frame one. So all you have to do is use this freaking move next to the ledge, and you can basically cover a lot of options there, or you can just use it at the ledge and move it to roll distance to basically capture rolls as well the only thing that's wrong with this move is that it sends the opponent up so if they're not at kill percent basically you're just using this move to get more damage off now with the combination of your down tilt your down special and zare your ledge trapping has so many variables that the opponent has to guess which one you're going to do and it's hard to do that when you're on a ledge and you're nervous and you're scared because you're in a tournament match one more hit, that will do it. Now he has the big scary red man online. Yeah, Town and City's high ceiling saving Void there, but I have to imagine that another- Now the crazy thing about what Elegant did here was that he pressured the ledge with down tilt like crazy, making Void feel like he had to choose an option as quickly as possible. But the thing is, if Void would've waited there long enough where his invincibility frames would've ran out, then he would've just got hit by down tilt. So Void chose an option which was an attack and he got hit by down B. Now there's another option that Elegant has that's kind of crazy. Take a look at this. So, all those times that Zenny didn't push his tempo. Oh man, barely got the legend time. Wow, down there into Cyclone. So it basically comes full circle. Elegant is basically making a wall right there at the ledge to cover a lot of options. Using down air and neutral air, which neutral air is basically a disjoint to cover a lot of options at the ledge is just amazing. Now aside from these, you can also go for some crazy hard reads. And now he's in a good position to take the stock. Oh yes! That time was now since we're done talking about off stage, two framing, and less traps, what about going for that glory, that style? That'd be terrifying. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hits, oh, no! really? Really no! elegant? You no! really had to do him like that? Oh my god, <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. All right, much better showing game two. I Whoa. mean, I feel like if you're runes, you can definitely be happy that like, okay, I didn't get like sauced. Now, if you're a character like Luigi, or if you're elegant, what you do is you basically wall out, wall out, wall out. Now, do me a favor, go to the comment section and tell me which person you want me to do next. MK Leo, Hungry Box, I'll do Melee, I'll do Ultimate, whatever y'all want me to do, just let me know in the comment section. And do me another favor, hit the bell, because if you don't hit the bell, then you won't get the next video in the series. I'll see you guys next time.